Been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to live best because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunks for trunks for love. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my studio. I hope you're ready for some more blooming fun. I have got myself, oops, if I can grab them. A batch of these six by six wood cradle boards, all taped up and ready to go. And I was just at Sherwin Williams this morning because they are having a sale, and nothing beats a sale. And I got myself some new colors to play with. So I have five canvases, and I have five base colors. So let's get down to the canvas, and I'll show you what we're working on. Okay, I'm trying to go through all my colors and paints as quick as I can. Like I said, I have five new, well, I have five colors. Two are not new. So I've got my tuber rose and my ocean side, which you're both familiar with. And I'm adding to that, this one is called Golden Plumeria. It is a gorgeous yellow. And I have Agreeable Gray. I got this one for free because it was a mist dye. And because I was buying a whole batch of things, he threw this one in, because he had it there. So that's a nice gray. And then I'm gonna have tricorn black. So that's just the black. So I got five base colors. Let's go through all the other colors I've got here. So we are playing, of course, with my eye candy pigments. If you have not tried eye candy pigments, you need to go give them a try, guys. Love these pigments. All right, let's go through my eye candy. I'm gonna start with Akashika. This is a white. It is gorgeous. Look at the shine on that. I have Ninja Black. I'm going quick, guys. Olive Yellow. That's one I haven't used yet, but I bought a while back. Macaw Blue Green. Surin Purple. One of my newer colors, Wasabi Green. You know this one if you've watched my videos. This is my 14K Nugget Gold, the Sling Maker. I have a tiny amount of my Penny Copper left, also good for bling. Got the Oihi Blue. I have Skyline Blue, that's one of my newer colors. Okay, I botched that. This is actually rainbow blue. That's not the new blue. This is the new blue. This is the skyline blue. You know, I really should label these things. But, you know, no. All right. This is common badukai. That is the blue with the red highlight. We've got sabafu green. I've got baku red. Kakiro Orange, Watermelon, that's one of my newest ones. I really liked that in my last pours with it. And this is another new one, this is Benimo Red. Then just in case I wanna throw them in, I do have some TLP in Twilight and in Submarine, just in case I decide to want those colors. And I've also got a little of my Craftus Ecru because this is just such a beautiful bronzy tone. So, let's get started. Now, decision time. What color to start with? Five colors to choose from. I think we're going to start with golden... Uh, what is that? Golden something. Palermo. I have two cards. Oh, Plumeria. Golden Plumeria. Let's play with that. So, we're just going to give ourselves a dollop right there in the middle.
Okay. Let me pick this up. Look at that. Ooh, gorgeous. All right. Let me clean up a bit and we'll do the next one. Okay, next we're going to go with the tricorn black. That's good. Let's pull that up for you. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, oh, look at how that 14K gold is shining on that black. Oh, yeah. All right, let me set up for the next one. Okay, note to self, if you're going to do multiple colors, do black last. All right. We're going to play with another new color. This is Agreeable Gray. It wasn't a color I was going to get, but I was buying a whole batch of colors. And the guy behind the counter was asked me if I would like this one for free because it was a misdye. And he was stuck with a color that nobody wanted. And I, of course, do not turn down free, people. No, no, no. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay. Oh, look at the ahi blue right in here. And this papu green playing right over here. There's some of that bonino red. There's definitely watermelon over there and over here. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, let's pry that guy up. Look at that. Whoa. All right, let's prep for the next guy. Okay, that was the new base colors. We're gonna go back to our old base colors and start with Tuba Rose.
Okay, let me pry that one up and show you. If I can figure out, whoops, there it is, where my pellet knife Look at that one. Oh, love the shine. All right, let me get the last one ready. Okay, that took a little longer than I thought to clean up. That pink was just everywhere. I also made up some more of my 14K nugget gold because I ran out of that on the last one. So here we go for number five. Push inside. That it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Cause you're a work of art is ready to pull off. Okay. Let's get that one up for you. Alright, let me show you that one. Wow. Look at the shine on that. Alright. Hang in there a minute, folks, and I'll give you wet results on them. Okay, we have wet results. So this was our first one with the Golden Maria base. So we're getting some shadows here. But oh, look at all the colors. Love that one. Then we went to the black base. See that 14K is just going nuts there. All right, then we had our gray base. And our tubu rose base. And finally, our ocean side base. So much sparkle. Look at the sparkle. Whoa. All right, five paintings, five different base pillows. All right, we're gonna let these dry. Hang in there. Okay, we have dry results. Now I must admit, I put these on a table to dry that I don't normally use for that purpose. And it was not quite level enough, so. We had some shifting. So this is the one, you know what, I'm gonna pick these up one at a time. So this one had our gold plumeria background. But I think it came out really pretty. And then the next one had our tricorn black background. There's so much shine on these. Hard to get the colors without all the glare. And then we had our agreeable gray background. Let's see if I can get it 
better angle at these. And that's a little better. That was the agreeable gray background. This is one of the ones that shifted a lot. First two were less shifting. This is probably the most destroyed. This had my beautiful ocean side background. I still like the results, but definitely not what it started as. And the last one had our tuber rose background. But it's fun how we got such very different looks by the different base colors. Okay, that is all of them. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload videos. I truly appreciate your watching. Now tonight, this is Friday with Friends, so please follow along with the train. After me is Joanne Ralston Art, and after that is Acrylic Creations by Jay Witty and then Oak by Bettina. Their links and the timing is all in my description box. So please follow along. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone.